Hello, this is Jill. And how often have you seen this? On a rainy day, storm water going down a storm drain. Well, this is what's supposed to happen, right? Well, actually, a lot of communities are struggling with the fact of what to do with this water once it goes down the drain. A lot of this water has a lot of contaminants and they have to treat it. And so they're trying different techniques to try to detain and infiltrate water instead of just pouring it down the drain. And I'll show you some of those today. So when it comes to stormwater control, you want to do three things. You want to slow down flow into the storm drain system. You want to infiltrate it into the ground so it never enters the storm drain system. And you also want to treat the contaminants in the water. And this particular system right here does all three. This is kind of a combination of detention pond and bioswale. So what a bioswale is, is that the organics, the, the plants that's in here, actually help break down some of the contaminants, the oils uh, that are in the water. Also, this particular uh, uh, structure here uh, kind of ponds up the water, so it detains the water and allows it to infiltrate into the ground. And then it also has overflows, so if there's too much water, it'll just create a pond and overflow and finally discharge into, into this overflow over here. But before it does that, it will slow the water down so you don't get these big stormwater peaks that could um, overwhelm a uh, storm drain system. So this is a good example. So when, when water goes from the road, it goes into that little, comes into the system in that little hole, kind of ponds up, it will kind of overflow and drain into these lower ponds and finally get discharged um, down the drain. There's another one on the same street, slightly different, but uh, there's a lot of architecture, landscape architecture associated with this. They pick specific types of vegetation to plant in. Not only uh, does the organics in the soil help break down the contaminants, but also the vegetation itself helps uh, collect um, like dust and dirt and uh, helps the uh, turbidity, reduces the turbidity of the, of, the, of the water that comes in. So here, uh, water just comes from the street, from there, there. It just gets infiltrated uh, on this upper tier and then discharges to lower pond area. And again, it gets discharged at the end there if there's an overflow. But before that, it gets infiltrated and treated. So sometimes these structures are called green streets or green strips. This one again treats uh, stormwater from the street as well as the sidewalk. Has a, it separates the uh, structure uh, with these check dam type rock berms and just treats, allows the water to infiltrate before it discharges it at, at the end of the structure. So here's a simple curbside one. Water enters from the street, gets detained and infiltrated, and then any overflow goes right back into the street, into the storm drain. This one uses available space really well. Water from the street, this goes in, comes into the pond area, gets infiltrated, detained, and you don't see the outfall until you get to the very end. All this area could be ponded with water. Infiltration can occur all through the entire strip. And not until you get to the very end do you see a little bit of a slide gate weir feature here for overflow and then the uh, outfall. Well, storm water can come from any place, not just streets. Here's one that's collecting water from a parking lot and also from roof drains. You can see them discharging right there. And this one's divided into a couple of different ponds. This one 
and then it goes under the little walkway, goes into a second little detention pond area, and then a third, and then finally, whatever water remains gets overflowed into the storm drain. Now these structures don't have to be huge. This one's pretty small. Water just comes in, is uh, treated, infiltrated for a bit, and then comes out. And this one is even smaller yet. And this one's just part of a residential street and can be incorporated in almost any strip. And it just does a little bit to, to reduce the stormwater effect. And so these could really be put anywhere. And this is kind of the intent of this video, is just to show you some of these examples and how, how stormwater is being treated. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.